Hey guys, welcome back to Trending on Eniola Badmos TV. Here is a trending story for today. There is outrage in Nigeria following the murder of a 22-year-old student, Uwa Vera Omozua, in a church. The hashtag Justice for Uwa is currently trending in Nigeria, with the family members appealing to help track down our killers. Umazua is said to be a Unibend student who was raped and murdered inside a church. She died at the University of Benin Teaching Hospital, Edo, after she was beaten and raped in a local church. The young lady is an under-level microbiology student of Uniben who goes to read every day at the redeemed Christian Church of God, Edo Province 10, Ipoba Hill, Benin, but was unfortunately beaten, raped and hit with the fire in Grisha by unknown men on Wednesday, 27th May 2020. According to a source, the church security officer had gone to collect the keys to the church from its keeper when he was told that there was someone in the church already. He got to the church only to find Uwa in a pool of blood and next to her was the fire extinguisher which was used to bash her face. He ran back to inform the key keeper and his wife who went to the church to meet her lifeless thinking she was dead. However, after careful observation, they noticed she was still alive and rushed her quickly to the hospital. It was at the hospital that Owa revealed that she was reading all alone when some unknown men came into the church, beat, raped and hit her head with a fire extinguisher. However, she later passed on. The case was eventually reported to a Red Benny police station. A police spokesperson in Southern Edo State said that they were treating the incident as a murder and not a rape case. Friends and families of the deceased have now taken to social media to demand action using the hashtag justice for Owa. Hi wonderful people, my name is Eniola Badmos and of course I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates and of course all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much guys and guys please do not forget that this pandemic in the lab, we need to take responsibilities and follow government rules by washing our hands we should use alcohol based sanitizer we should maintain social distancing we should use nose mask to be protected above all guys let's stay safe last tuesday many nigerians were angered after a policeman allegedly shot dead a 16 year old girl tina Ezekwe in the commercial capital city of lagos on Twitter, many Nigerians have expressed concern about the government's failure to tackle gender-based violence and questioned whether parents were bringing up boys properly. Here are some of the things we saw on Twitter. Obani Dikbo wrote, Few days ago, justice for Tina was trending. Today, it is justice for Uwa. The Nigerian state must do all to protect our young girls. Their lives matter and any criminal who attacks and ends it brutally must be brought to justice. Ginny wrote, Uwa's story breaks me. We all have to admit that our parents have failed woefully in the raising of male child, concentrating too much on the conduct of the female child when it's actually the males who have the higher propensity to do evil. Hashtag justice for Uwa. Kiki Modi says, Please Sanji, do you have any leads? Will you protect us? Any one of us could have been Uwa. Is there an investigation? Please let us know. We only demand. Hashtag justice for Uwa. Chris Clown wrote, Nowhere seems safe anymore. Not school, not the market, not the street, not in your own house, and not even the church. Heartbroken. Hashtag justice for Uwa. Also joining the list of people is Genevieve Nanji, who wrote on Twitter, They either abuse their power or have the power to abuse. In and out of uniform, we live in constant fear of men. Tina Ezekwe, Vera Mozua, rest in peace, my darlings. We will get justice. And finally, simply underscore Tacha says, Heartbreaking to wake up every day to sad news. It's sickening and terrifying. Hashtag we are tired. Uwa was raped and brutally murdered in cold blood while reading inside a church. What did she do wrong? No one deserves this. As more people continue to lend their voice to the gruesome killing of Uwa and Tina, the Redeemed Christian Church of God have released a statement to condemn the acts. It says, the leadership of the Redeemed Christian Church of God is grieved and disturbed over the death of Ms. Uwa Omozua, a 100-level undergraduate student of the University of Benin, 
who was a member of a choir in one of our parishes in Benin City. The church commensurates with the parents, family and relations of the young promising lady with prayers that God will grant them the fortitude to bear the great loss. In view of the lockdown order by government, our churches have been closed down to worship and other fellowships. However, on Wednesday, 27th May 2020, Ms. Uwa Mozua had collected the keys to the church hall of her parish as she had been doing since the lockdown began for use of her private educational studies. On the said date, when the night guard at the church resumed duties a little after 7 p.m., he found the lady on the floor in the church hall half naked and in the pool of her blood. Parents and other people were alerted and she was taken to a nearby hospital from where she was transferred to the University of Benin Teaching Hospital where efforts were made to save her life. Unfortunately, she gave up the ghost on Sunday night. It is the prayer of the leadership of this church that God will expose the evil doers and help the security agencies to unravel this wicked act. Pastor Light on Lubi, Public Relations, RCCG. With more people talking about the act on social media, all eyes are on the Nigerian police to see how this particular issue and every other reported rape cases will be handled from now on. We'll definitely bring you more stories in line with this on Enola Badmos TV. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel. See you soon.